I had U.S. on my collars right here from the time I was 17 years old. And that meant you saluted the commander in chief. It took me a year after getting out of uniform to realize that just because the Secretary of Defense said something, that I didn't automatically have to help him promote his idea. That it wasn't loyalty to the Defense Department anymore in the chain of command. It was loyalty, a higher loyalty, a loyalty to the country. And that takes time to grow into. And it's taken me longer to grow into the idea and understand the meaning of partisanship in the right terms. I always hear, you know, people say in the press, they say, oh, I wish they'd just stop all that bickering up in Washington and just get on with things. Well, that bickering up in Washington, that's American democracy at work. And the question for this country is, and I think what the election in 2004 is really going to be about, it's not even going to be about the war on terror, although that's important. It's not going to be about jobs, although there are 2.6, 2.7 million jobs lost, not to mention the number of jobs that haven't been created. You know, we have to create about 1.3 million jobs a year in this country just to deal with new labor market interests. So that's a big issue, but that's not the issue. The real issue in this election is going to be whether we believe in a two-party system in the ability of reasonable people of good intent to disagree and work through those disagreements to produce a higher level product for the American people or whether we're going to go the way that so many other democracies have gone in human history, which is when the going gets tough, they sort of agree to collapse the dialogue and discussion, and they sort of pull in and they say, gee, you can't raise that issue too sensitive right now. And you pass something like a Patriot Act, and you do other things, and suddenly you wake up and you say, this is not the country that we had before. Why not and where did it go? And I don't want that to ever happen to this country. So as I'm thinking about this election and I'm thinking about, you know, what does it mean and what's it going to be about, I'm thinking about how do you maintain the system of democracy that we love and value and that I fought for in my time in uniform. I fought for the right of people to disagree. I fought for the right of people to protest. I fought for the right of people to question the president. And not just to question, you know, what did he eat today and how far did he run or something like that, but to question him in every sense of the word. I fought for the right of privacy. I fought for freedom from government intrusions on our personal lives. I fought for the belief that every American is a human being who's worthy of respect and should be treated fairly and equally regardless of race, religion, creed, sexual orientation, or any other discriminating factor. And so when I got out and I looked around, I looked at where the country's going, I see that as sort of all of that is out there right now in the dialogue that's underway in American democracy. And uh, the question is, how do you best contribute to that dialogue? I've been able to do it as a commentator on television. I've been able to do it by writing newspaper columns and giving speeches. I've been able to do it by doing a lot of talk with the business community. And now the question is, would I do it some other way? And that's what I'm wrestling with.